Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. This is Vithalam and today we'll be solving the problem Unique Binary Search Trees 2. So there is a similar problem similar to what we are looking at which is basically Unique Binary Search Trees 1 where we had to find out uh, the maximum or the maximum number of binary search unique binary search trees you could create uh, with a certain number n. So this question is very similar, except instead of asking for a count, we are asked to create the actual binary trees, binary search trees. So let's look at the problem description briefly. Given an integer n, generate all structurally unique BSTs that store values 1 to n. So there's an there's a example here, input 3, and you have all these kind of binary search trees possible from 1 to 3. So um, yeah, let's start with the refresh what a binary search tree is. Binary search tree is a binary tree with all nodes to the left are smaller and all nodes to the right are larger. Basically, this is in relative to the relevance to the root. So as you guys can see, one, three, two, at each node, at each value of from, let's say, n is 3. So at each value from 1 to n, you know that each value could be a root, right? And there are multiple combinations. The way we are going to solve this is um, the same formula we used for unique binary search trees, which is basically uh, all the trees possible on the left side and all the trees possible on the right side. And, and assuming the current i is the from i from 1 to n and at every point we can we consider i as the root and then all the two all the things towards the you know left to the i so 1 to i so all the nodes from 1 to i possible trees to into all the trees possible from i plus one comma n. So this is our formula basically. If you are looking at one, two, three, uh, at each index, we are going to see if there are any trees on the left side. You know, at one, if when we consider i as one, we see on the left there are no possible trees, right? But on the right, between two and three, there are like three, po two possible trees. One is two, three, right? This is one combination. Another combination is three, two, right? So these are two possible uh, combinations of trees on the right side. So what we're going to do is we'll assume the current i as the index. And then we'll use these two combinations which were already generated. And then we are going to make i as the root, which is i, which is one is the root. So here i would be on the left side. Yeah. So as you can see, one, two, three is one tree. And then we are going to make i root again here, which is basically one. So you have one, three onto the left side and, and two onto the le left of three. So this is what this is what we are going to do. This is our algorithm. So all the values at each i to the left will generate all the trees possible with um, you know one to i, and will like for each combination will make i root, and then will form a tree. It is similar to the right side i plus one to n. So we'll recursively do it until we generate all kinds of binary search trees possible. Let's start with the code. So let's start with the negative condition. What if n is zero? Then we can't generate any binary search trees. We're just gonna return empty tree. And then let's make a helper method function generate tree list. So what, what do we get here? We'll get the start and the end. 
which are integers and we are going to return a list of tree nodes so this is basically helper function to generate all the possible trees from 1 to i between two indexes basically from 1, 1 to i and i plus 1 to n so this is what we are going to use so because we call this so we'll make a empty list initialize a list here tree node 0 initialize with uh, 0 elements so for recursion we need an exit condition so the exit condition for the recursion is if start greater than end then we don't need it anymore what we are going to do do though so when start greater than end we are going to add nil to the the list why so because let's say you are at one you know we are doing for for n n is equal to three and where your i is at one at the point so when, when you're calculating all the values from um on the left you don't have any values left right so what you are left um sub tree is going to be nil so to uh, mark that we are going to add nil to the list and next so once we have the exit condition ready we are going to start the actual condition where i equal to start i less than or equal to end i plus plus so we'll have two lists one is the left list generated by calling the same function we are writing now this is from start to i minus one as i said from one to i so when i say one to i we don't we shouldn't include i so it should be actually one to i minus one yes so we will generate the left side list and we'll generate the live right side list call the same function except here you know we will call from i plus one to end so once you have this what what are we going to do so we are basically um, traversing through the left and right list these are is uh, these for loops are basically traversing the left and right list generated so list what are we going to do once we have this we'll make a root is equal to we'll form a tree node where value is i you know i is basically this uh, as we said we are going to make i as the root and what are we going to do we are going to make all the left nodes so example we have three combinations on the left side and three combinations on the right side we will assign each combination with i as a root and each left you know each element in the left list and each element in the right list as the left and as the left and right subtrees here so we are going to do root right is equal to right so let's say you have three combinations here and three combinations here what are we going to do we make i as the root for all these three combinations and generate nine different trees so once we have the root what are we going to do we're going to add it to the list so this list equal to append list root this just adds it to the list finally we're going to return the list so this is our function we will initially you know from the main function call we are going to just call tree list what are we going to pass we are going to pass one to n right we want all the trees from one to n so all right this is our uh, recursive function which basically calculates everything let's try to run Right. So as you guys can see, the output and expected match, we are generating 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Our expected um, output and, and the actual output match. So one thing you can do to better understand is uh, apparently you have to, you know, put these things together on a whiteboard and or a, use a pen and paper, um, you know, go through uh this recursion 
for like n equal to one, start with n equal to one, start and go to n equal to two, and go to n equal to three, and see how um, the indexes are changing. So one thing you can do is you can just print here if you want um, start percentage t and percentage t new line. We are going to print start and end just to see the recursive loop. Console, just change the test case to two so that you now we'll have less values and run. So as you guys can see, uh, these are all the start and end combinations recursively generated. If you put together on a what you can do is um, just look at the program. The source code link is on the video details. And um, you know, do a pass through like a couple times for n equal to two and n equal to three and, and see if your recursive numbers match with what the program actually generates. So that's a easy way to understand the program. Um, if you have any questions, let's run the code though. All right, it's accepted and it's it runs faster than 100% of the Go submissions, which is basically um, runs in 36 milliseconds. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to add a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos coming like this. Thank you so much.